Hello. So it's New Year's Eve here in Tokyo and we're spending it sightseeing. Aren't we? Our first stop is Asakusa. We've got this giant shrine gate over here. We're gonna go check out and see what they've got. We're also going to the oldest theme park in Japan. So it'll be fun. All right, let's have a good time. Just past the temple and shrine behind us we've got all these stalls setting up for the new year period so new year's in japan on the first second and third of january everyone comes to the temple to pray it's a super duper busy time so all these stalls here are getting prepped and ready to try and sell their stuff now unfortunately because none of this is open until tomorrow we're gonna have to go to a restaurant to get some food and that's our mission now So for the whole of Tokyo, we've managed to find ourselves in a bakery. Not very Japanese, but Isaac's got his Charmander, so that makes it slightly more Japanese. What did we get? Isaac got a big cheese bread, a big bread roll, Jesse got a calzone, and what is that? Hash potato bread. Hash potato bread. I got something slightly Japanese, a curry donut. Let's eat. So after our delicious traditional Japanese lunch, we have come to the oldest theme park in Japan, Hanayashiki. I think that's what it's called, Hanayashiki, is that right? It's 1,000 yen to enter, so seven pound. Isa got in for free, because he's a little one, and he just buy tickets to go on the rides. So let's see what they've got. Take you along for a ride or two. So this amusement park opened in 1853. So it's over 150 years old, which is incredible. Spooky ghost train. Isaac's going on it by himself, aren't you? Okay, you ready? Good. I'll put you on it all by yourself. Yeah? Me and you and mummy? Or just nobody? <laughs> What's gonna happen? Gonna be so surprised. Oh my gosh! Oh, it feels sick. Oh, it feels sick. Oh, it feels sick. Oh, it feels sick. Oh, now that was a big surprise. Why do you always do this? Wishy? <laughs> so we're finished in the oldest theme park in Japan and it was great. You have a good time, Isaac? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, nice mask you got there. How did you manage to convince us to get you that? Good question. Yeah, mommy, I wasn't uh, there for that. Your mummy bounced out earlier and went Uniqlo shopping instead. <laughs> Disgraceful. That's what happens when I leave. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tokyo Sky Tree, the tallest building in Tokyo in the distance. <laughs> so 
we've managed to found one restaurant that's open today. Everything else was closed. And this is the menu we've been presented with. I mean, I can read a bit of Japanese, but a lot of this I have no idea what's going on. So we're just going to kind of point and see what happens. Bit of this, bit of that, bit of that. Hopefully we don't get too many innards, yeah? This is the correct way to eat yakitori chicken on a stick. Oh, and then James copied. Oh, it's good. It's good like that. Jesse's got a beer. Happy New Year. Bye. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. This year we spent January 1st in New York City. How did we get here from Tokyo? I have no idea. So as you may have guessed, we're not actually in New York City. We're still here in Tokyo. But on the 1st of January, we've decided to do a bit more sightseeing. And we're in a place called Odaiba, which is a man-made bay just out of the center of Tokyo. So here we are. Here's all the stuff, lots of shopping centers. And of course, the Statue of Liberty. So what does the first day of the new year have in store for us? What are we doing today, Isaac? We're going to go see a big robot. We're going to go see a big robot. Anything else today? We're going to a Lego place. We're going to a Lego place. Yes, Tokyo has a Lego Discovery Center. So we're going to check that out. But first, as Isaac said, a big robot. Let's go see what it is. Oh my gosh, the size of that thing. Let's go check it out, Isaac. So I read online that this thing was 18 meters high or 57 feet, but I didn't realize it would be just this big in person. I mean, just look at the size of this thing. Absolutely ridiculous. See what's inside. So Jesse and Isaac, what are some of your hopes and wishes for this new year we've started? A son. A son, you've already got a son. Two sons. Two sons? How about three sons? <laughs> Let's go crazy. A hundred, hundred sons. I need some girls in my family. Yeah, nah, always Where are okay. The girls out? We just want brothers, don't we, Isaac? Yeah. How many? Uh, one house to a thousand. Yeah, that's a lot. I think that we might need a bigger house, but we should do it, shouldn't we? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so much fun. You're going to share the same bedroom? Just have so many bunk beds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going up to the Lego Land. Loads of fun at the Legoland Discovery Center here in Tokyo, but it closed at four o'clock and we didn't get in until 2.30. So it was a very, very short time. Isaac was a bit sad to leave. So we're gonna have a bit of a look around, see what else we can find, see if there's any parks or anything to run around in before we go and grab some dinner. So we're just managing to catch the sunset here at the, where are we? Tokyo Waterfront City. Oh, 
Okay, we are looking for food and we've come to some sort of Tokyo ramen shop hallway thing with big cats and all different kinds of stuff. So let's see what kind of ramen they've got. Okay, so we've chosen this ramen restaurant. Isaac doesn't like ramen, apparently, so he's gone for a bowl of rice. Isaac, can you show us how to open these chopsticks that you find at Japanese restaurants? How do I open that? Did you do talk us for it? Just hold it at the bottom and... <laughs> okay, start again. Okay, so you hold it towards the bottom and... Wow, Whoa. well done Isaac. Get them out, and then you turn into a walrus. So, Jesse, what did you choose? It's a miso pork ramen with a soft boiled egg. And this lovely... That's fish. ...flour. <laughs> you can have that. Thanks. <laughs> And I chose this bad boy here. We've got some spicy pork, some spicy beef. We've got a soft boiled egg, cabbage, onions, uh, noodles in there somewhere. Not exactly sure what that is. Probably some sort of bamboo shoot perhaps. Obviously some seaweed. It all looks good. Let's dig in. Green, white, in Japan, when you're eating noodles, you have to slurp. Helps with the flavour, also shows the chef that you're enjoying his meal. Suggesting let's hear that slurp. Mm. Slurpy slurp. This is quite a bold statement, but this is spicy shoyu soy sauce ramen. It's probably the best ramen I've ever had in my life. I know, so spicy. it's oh. so spicy, but it's so delicious. Oh. And we come from Fukuoka, where they have delicious Hakta tonkotsu ramen, like pork broth ramen, but this is something special. Jesse, how's yours? It was good. It's not as good as that, but that is too spicy for me. Okay, if you ever find yourself in Odaiba in Tokyo, you should go to Kanazawa Ramen and order yourself this. It was absolutely incredible. Okay, we'll say farewell for now. Thanks for joining us and we'll speak to you soon. Bye. Yeah. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Jed Kid. Isaac's has got a free pass to give him access to any of the rides here for free and instead he chose to pay 100 yen to go on this little thing. Kids. I just don't understand kids sometimes. <laughs>